It was one of Watertown's first movie theaters, then it was a nightclub for decades, and today the Strand Movie House slash club is getting a facelift. I spoke with Joseph Foy, the president of Harmony, who tells us how he was inspired by the project when he visited other cities similar in size to Watertown. I've seen a couple of performing arts centers that are in other places, especially with similar populations, and thought these places are bringing a lot to their communities, they're bolstering the businesses around them, they're providing this arts culture that's amazing. We started Harmony with that vision in mind. The project is made possible by multiple entities, including Neighbors of Watertown, the Community Foundation, and JCC. We were working closely with the Northern New York Community Foundation, and they let us know of an opportunity with Neighbors of Watertown, who owned the space here, which was originally the Strand Theater. They got us involved, and it was looking like we were going to just take over kind of the space as is, but then JCC ended up getting involved. Because of their involvement, a lot of the funding was able to come into the space. Uh, and, the, and the storefronts next door, uh, where JCC will be having their small business development and co-working space, and that allowed it to be built up in terms of what makes sense for a performing arts theater. The project will be yet another great addition to downtown Watertown. There's going to be a proscenium behind me, uh, so a front of stage. We'll have a sound system, we'll have a lighting system eventually. It seats about 120 people, so we're thinking kind of smaller performances. It could be theater, music, comedy, it could be dance. The project includes an outside patio on the roof adjacent to the theater right behind me. So the theater goes higher than the storefronts, uh, so that has allowed them to build a rooftop space. Joe says it's a dream come true. It is, uh, and we've also been very appreciative of all the community support that we've had so far for this project. If all goes well, the amazing downtown project behind me will be done by late spring or early summer. I'm Glenn Curry for Downtown News. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.